Hi there, today we're unboxing a Bluetooth speaker. So this particular speaker, quite an interesting one. It's a waterproof speaker and it's also got a charging point on there. So let's have a, a look around the packaging first of all. Not really much on there. On the back, we've got some details just to show. So first of all, maximum output is 16 watts, lithium iron battery, maximum capacity 4,500. That's quite high really. So that's what sort of attracted us to this one. And there's the other bits and pieces. Okay, let's open it up. Let's see what this one's like. Speaker itself, nothing in there. Underneath we've got a charging cable. Reasonable quality, I think amazing. And a cheapo auxiliary cable. Again, very thin. I think the, the charging cable is probably of better quality. Okay, got a product manual there. Outdoor sports Bluetooth speaker. So when I say waterproof, it's probably more splash proof than anything else. I don't really want to destroy it by dumping it in water, but um, it's generally sealed. So there you go, only for quality life. And that's the make. Ilepo. And just like a thank you card with that. So let's look at the actual speaker. Very um nice weight to it, not it feels feels good, it feels solid really. Um it's got a rubber strap on here. As you can see, um, got the speaker grill just there, and it's got a rubber sort of finish all the way around, and another sort of grill there. Okay, just give you a bit of a close up. So you've got power, you've got a play, pause, and answer a call, which is good. So it's got a, a microphone built into it as well. Uh, you've got reduce volume, increase volume and the actual strap itself if we go round then you've got in out auxiliary and tf and there's nice a rubbery sort of cover to that okay so you've got your actual usb output for charging another device and then you've got your usb uh, your mini usb to actually charge this speaker itself then you've got an auxiliary connection there and finally your your card slot there to be able to play music off it directly so it's that let's have a look underneath you got some covers over here and that's it really so let's try setting this up on a mobile phone so let me get my phone ready here okay so let me get my phone i'll turn on bluetooth and then let's power it on see if it sees it it's just there if i click on it and it's paired easy peasy simple as that so next um let's test out playing something on there i can play just something from my my channel directly okay so we've got a video here with some royalty free music on there let me turn that up. Okay, so to increase the volume, you just repeatedly keep pressing it. If you hold on to it, it'll skip to the next track. You can actually feel the bass vibrating the actual unit. Sound quality is very good and a very good amount of bass coming out of it really. So I'm quite impressed, it's quite nice. Let's 
So speakers, the actual drivers are on this side. This is just for design. See, if I cover it, I can sort of, sort of tell. But yeah, sound quality is really good. I'm impressed. Let's get the um, auxiliary cable out and test that next. See if I pull off the cover, plug that in. Okay, it's gone straight to auxiliary mode. Ooh, it's a bit crackly. Ooh, I don't like the quality of that, really. Okay, quite a cheapo cable, really. Okay, that was disappointing with the cable. Best not to use it with the cable or just to get another good quality cable really. Let me try it again. Nice, there you go. Quite a nice speaker, really. Um, sound quality is really good. Uh, clarity is good. Um, probably nicely protected here and quite sealed, you know, so you can't get water easily going into the unit. Probably not completely waterproof, but nicely splash proof, you know, but I, I don't want to try it only because it, it is a really nice speaker. So there you go. Um, Disappointed by the actual auxiliary cable that comes with it. Very cheap, really. God, he would have thought they'd want to spend a bit more money to give a better quality cable. But if you're buying a Bluetooth speaker, more than likely you're going to be playing music via Bluetooth. So there you go. I do like it. Um, just impressed by the sound volume and the quality. So nice and loud. Bass quality is nice. Um, okay, we've done a sound test. Let's see this actual device giving a charge out. So let's put that in and let's see if it will charge my, my phone for instance. There you go. Charging just there. It's excellent, really, a multi-function device. The fact you can play music. Let's test it out now um, with the video. Yep, it's playing and it's charging at the same time. Excellent. I'm impressed. It's nice to have dual functionality out of these things. So even if you're not using it as such, you can just charge something up with it with a with a massive capacity there. So that's good. Okay, so we've had an unbox of this, we've had a test of it, had a look around it. It's a really nice speaker. You know, the, the, it actually is good quality um, with a nice finish on there. I like it. It's, it's rubbery um, and nicely sealed. So I guess if you're out and about and it starts raining, for instance, um, it is nicely sealed. So you're not going to get water easily going in there. Um, the cables that come with it, obviously the charging cable, um, you can charge the actual device with it and you can use the cable for charging another device. So that's quite good. The auxiliary cable, really disappointed with this. You would have thought, with being such a nice speaker, they would have given a, a slightly better quality cable. So a bit disappointed by this. But then again, if you're buying a Bluetooth speaker, you're not really going to be buying it to use off an auxiliary cable. But it's always good to know that this is the type of cables they're giving. But there you go. A really nice speaker. Sound quality from this is quite superior. Um, and there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this speaker. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>